we have reported a key advance to the contact printing or stamping of prefabricated ultra thin polymer films on the surfaces of soft biological tissues such as wound pads we have demonstrated that incorporating uh, micrometer size beads in these nanometer thick polymer films greatly enhances their transfer by stamping onto the uh, dermis of cadaver skin this study was part of a bigger translational wound healing project which whose goal is to develop new fundamental approaches to wound healing that can be quickly translated into clinical settings Every year in United States there are more than 6 million patients who seek hospital care for chronic wounds or burns that take several months to heal. Chronic wounds have problems with bacteria contamination of the wounds and if you can control the bacteria in the wounds you may be able to get the wounds to heal better and heal faster. Standard approaches uh, leads to frequent painful dressing changes. or bacteria that is resistant to antibiotics antibiotics that you swallow or you get in 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 an iv solution don't affect the bacteria growing on the surface of a wound so there are antibiotics or antimicrobials used to try to control that bacteria and silver is a great example recent advances include uh, silver based wound dressings that contain silver ions silver compounds or silver nanoparticles these dressings provide long term release of silver in the wounds uh, it's that circumvents frequent dressing changes the problem with silver dressings is that although they kill the bacteria really really nicely they also kill some of the native cells that the patient needs to heal the wound so the silver kills the bacterial cells and it kills the cells of the person in our recent past publication Uh, we demonstrated that nanoscopic localization of silver nanoparticles in polymer films on a surface can lead to a uh, very good antibacterial activity while also allowing uh, mammalian cells to grow on top of that surface in that past approach we prepared multi layers of polymers films uh, by layer by layer assembly of oppositely charged polyelectrolytes on a surface and then impregnated those polymer films with precise loadings of silver nanoparticles we have developed a method to prefabricate these polymer coatings on rubber stamps and then stamp the polymer films right onto the surface of the wounds and incubated that treated cadaver skin with bacterial with solutions of bacteria that are commonly isolated from wound infections and we demonstrated that the loadings of silver that were below the cytotoxicity levels of the uh, fibroblast cells involved in wound healing killed all the bacteria in those bacterial solutions incubated with the cadaver skin we have antimicrobial effects so it kills the bacteria in the wound but the doses of the silver that we're going to use are so low that they don't harm the human cells we uh, fortunately fortuitously found that incorporating micrometer size beads in these polymer films greatly enhanced the transfer of uh, polymer films from the rubber stamps onto the uh, surface of the dermis of the cadaver skin this allows integrating silver nanoparticles in the wound bed itself which releases silver right into the cellular micro environment and requires 100 times less silver than in any other leading silver dressing to demonstrate antibacterial activity the um current work described in our manuscript addresses um demonstrations of principle in in vitro systems so a um future direction is to move to in vivo and that includes animal models and then ultimately um trials with humans and then a second direction is um to move um to other classes of antimicrobials so in this paper we really just address silver there are many other molecules which are known to be antimicrobials and also look at incorporation of other types of bioactive molecules which can impact other aspects of the wound healing behaviors